Alright, bam, I'm excited. This is the release of the hot dog method, which means hands off the dog. It's a method where we don't choke, shock, put ridiculous collars on a dog to force them to listen. And you're also going to see the intelligence of dogs versus wolves and chimpanzees. Let's take a look right now. The hot dog method, worldwide premiere. Don't try it at home because it's still in beta. Let's take a look. With my mouse, here it is. All right, let's go. Apparently there's a difference between uh, dogs, humans, and chimpanzees in terms of the ability to understand pointing. Dogs have shared an evolutionary history with us over the last 10 or 15,000 years at least. Um, they solve problems more like we do, uh, uh, in many cases, uh, more like we do than our closest relatives, uh, chimpanzees and bonobos. Think, think, think. Breaks. I built into this method the ability to stop a dog even after I've given her a command. How uh, dogs understand our gestural Hi. communication. Let me go. Good job, Henry. The question is how do dogs understand that information and how do they use it? But not every dog is going to understand this so easily. Dogs have to be taught this, but they can be taught it much easier than, say, a wolf or a chimpanzee. So when I want to tell my dog where to go, how to go there, what direction to go in, it is actually quite easy. Evolutionary theory that it is the ability to understand social gestures like pointing that allowed canines thousands of years ago to become, to merge with human beings in a way that had never been done before in history. Let's take a look. I have a piece of food, I'm going to throw it somewhere and I'm going to tell her to go around my body in a certain direction. Now here's a very important thing we're going to show. Uh, when I tell her to go in a certain direction, this is how I teach that. Over, 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 over. Nice girl, nice girl, nice girl, nice girl. a brief analysis of pointing and why dogs can do it. It may be because I'm a genius that they can do it that well. Or it may be something in the mind of the dog that's more adapted to humans than the wolf or the chimpanzee. This is Michael Patton reporting live from DogTV.com. I am a genius by the way, just, just so you know.